And now to a nationwide effort to spread a message of acceptance and understanding for people with disabilities and how you can help. We're talking about the journey of hope. And joining me now is Drew Rudman along with Mark Fisher uh, with Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity at Purdue, which puts the event on every year. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for having us. So this is a cross-country bicycle ride. Uh, tell us what, what you uh, hope to accomplish with this ride. Yeah, so the Journey of Hope started in um, 1987 with one guy. Um, and now it consists of about 100 different Pi Kappa Phi's from all across the country. Mm -hmm. um, and we start in California, and it's split up into three routes. We find that out like later in the year, but okay. um, we basically make the trek over to D.C. Um, and the biking seems like, you know, the most, uh, I guess, the biggest part of it, but really it's about raising money and awareness for people with disabilities. Um, so as we go along, we'll stop in different cities that are partnered with uh, the Ability Experience and have been for the past 29 years. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have, we call them friendship visits, so it can look like, you know, wheelchair basketball or dance parties, pool parties, um, anything. So it's a really cool time. Um, there's 12 of us that are going this year from our chapter. Which alone. is really a huge turnout, right? Yeah, which is crazy. Um, the most that there's ever been So mm -hmm. from one chapter. So it's, it's really cool, and a lot of guys that have been able to participate from our chapter alone the past couple of years have said how much of an impact it's made on their life. And so. that's, I was going to ask you why you think it's so important. It's, it's clearly making a difference in lives, mm -hmm. huh? Right. Well, I, I think that part, one of the reasons why this trip is so special and so cool is that we're not just raising money. Mm -hmm. um, we're not just asking people for money. We're actually going out. We'll be averaging riding about 70 miles a day, mm -hmm. um, which uh, you eventually do get used to it, but <laughs> at the same time, sitting on a bike for, for four hours a day is, is not the most comfortable thing. Right. Um, and not, not only that, we're also going to be going and hanging out with people who have disabilities. Uh, I think America is largely ignorant of the fact that there are over 60 million Americans uh, who have disabilities, mm -hmm. which is actually a quite quite an astounding number. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think it, it is definitely a great trip because we are we are not only raising money for this, yeah. but we're actually enhancing the lives of people with disabilities. Absolutely, we're almost out of time. Quickly, um, you could use the community support, right? Mm -hmm. So absolutely. you have a link and information on where people can go if they want to support your yeah, cause? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're going to put that online at WLFI.com. So go there and share the link and help these guys out as they ride across the country. Good luck with your training, Thank by you the way. So <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.